Well, camp is everywhere. A couple of days ago I got a call from somebody on one of the forums I go on, one of the self-build forums. Um, they, they've done a self-build before themselves, um, the blue one there. Um, they've bought this new one here and they're going away with it in, like I think it's in about five weeks. Um, and just haven't got time to get it all finished themselves. Um, so he gave me a call and see if I minded coming and giving him a hand. So this is the one I'm going to be doing for a little while now. I'm just going to do it for like three days this week, three days next week, maybe the week after, we'll see. Um, Citroen Relay L3 H2. A lot of the outside was already done. Along with the floors are down. Uh, the roof's in with the roof lights. I think there's a solar panel up there. A lot of the electrics around. Um, Solway panels all the way around. They look nice. Uh, well, most of them are in. Um, but what I've been asked to do is build all the furniture. Uh, the layout of this one's going to be there's a corner bathroom over here. And then beside it here, there's going to be a double bed. And then I gather there's going to be a seat in front of that against the wall. It's not a travelling seat. And then opposite the other side, a kitchen. Um, I'm starting this morning on the bathroom. So all I've done so far is um, stood this tray into place and then built a frame up the wall and some little struts at the top there. to try and get the wall as straight as possible and in one piece. I um, don't know if you can see down there but it's quite nice and straight actually all the way up now. So to do that that's going to be a 6mm ply which is then going to be clad. I've just scribed the board to the existing roof and this is a cladding here and I've just routed this round. Um, so now what I'm going to try and do is fit the the board up, um, get that screwed into place, then sick flex this panel on the top. Right, so a bit more done in it now. Uh, the back wall's in. Unfortunately the video of me doing that didn't turn up. So hello Gary. <laughs> um, back wall's in. What I've done there is I've built a wall behind. And then some little bits going across at the top. And then bonded a 6mm plywood to it. And then stuck the cladding, I think cladding monkey again, over the top. Back wall's done as well. Fortunately it chipped out in that corner, but there's nothing you can't sort out with some silicone. Um, the nice thing about doing it this way, if you cut the board first, um, is you can get it over the top of the the sort of return thing the angle and it looks quite nice then when it's done uh, the toilet door is all cut in as well that's a pedestal to go underneath I think you can just about see that underneath the shower tray the waste is in there the waste hole is in there as well um, that's the plumbing that's got to come round so that I've rooted that underneath the base there's a gap down this side on this shower tray. The wire there is for the toilet, for the electric flush. The black wire there is a 240 feet that's got to come round, and it's the best way of doing it. I think what I'll do is I'll sickerflex this floor in, um, and maybe put the other two walls in, and then video again. Okay, so the other two walls are cut in now and fitted, um, and the little piece going across the bottom there, that's just sat in place at the moment, because I've got to trim this, the plastic down, it's on, um, on both sides, but the shower tray um, is a bit all over the place, um, it's warped as hell. So what I've had to do is glue it down and put some weights down on the bottom and let it dry overnight. And once it's dry, this just pushes back no problem. 
but not until it's all dried up. The toilet then sits in place, the water's through for it there along with the electrics. Um, that tape mark on the wall there, that's just exactly where it goes so I can fit the little bracket. Um, and then it's just a case of siliconing around this really. Um, got the knocking edging to go on the, on the two sides. Um, all of the fixings are invisible everywhere inside by the time the silicone lines round it's going to be done I didn't put the roof in by the way um, the fixings are down there on uh, where the shower tray is um, that's because um, the kitchen's there and on this side I couldn't obviously I couldn't fix down with the shower tray in place so on this side they are on the outside uh, you can see the water and the electric coming through um, but this is there's a bed here anyway so it won't be seen on the back you can see there there's a toilet um, it's all scribed around and with the solway panel going across the top it's all scribed around it's only sat in place it's got to be fixed up yet but that will be pretty much spot on over here it was a bit twisted up so we just cut it off because there's wall units going across here anyway so it'll be out of the way and it made the rest of it sit nicely it was just a bit that was a bit skewy um, so the next job is now start messing around with the kitchen in here the kitchen in here is going to be nice so I'll get on with that now it's another day now Annoyingly, I lost a load of the footage I took the other day. Um, so I've had enough of the camera and I've bought a new camera, which is what I'm filming on now. Hopefully this one will be better. It will certainly be better once the wide angle lens arrives and the video lighting. So where we are is the kitchen is just all stood into place. Um, bathroom's all sort of roughly in place now and roughly screwed together. Shower tray's got to be done back, um, fizz it back, but the the base is now nice and solid. Um, it wasn't at all straight, this thing, when it arrived, but it seems nice now. I've got it nice and stable. Um, I've had a bit of a change of plan. Before fitting the kitchen into place, I thought it'd be a lot easier if the wall unit was up. Because I've got more room to work. And so I started doing the wall unit which I have got some footage of because I've done that today um, and then I thought well what would make it much easier is if I fit the Solway panel on this wall first and try and get everything sort of in and finished at once not too sure how that's going to work but you know worth a go so anyway let's start with the Solway Right, well the Solway panel is in. I didn't film me scribing that. I didn't fancy all the swearing I'd have to cut out of it. But anyway, it is in. Um, the little T piece there, that's because it's um, where I've cut so much of it away it needed a bit of glue behind it in that corner. Down the edge, sorry, I've, I've put a band there so it's all not well supported. Whole layer is for a light switch. The electrics up there are for the um, lights underneath the cupboard. Still got to put a little sliver of something across there. But the two battens to support the wall units, the top one and the bottom one, um, why that's castellated will become apparent later, um, are all in. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. Time to go on with the wall unit.
And that's the wall unit in, so that's that section all sort of sat in place. The glue over there is still drying. Um, ignore the edging there where it's popping out. It needs a little bit of Sikaflex and clamping up overnight. The kitchen unit is now where it's going to be. So I think I can start cutting in where the oven and the fridge and the units and the work surface and sink and God knows what else and gas locker going in the back. Cut all that in next. Um, I've pre-edged the back of this ready just so it's going to look a bit more finished there'll obviously be a plate coming here on the end um all fits nicely down the bottom there as well yeah we're starting to get somewhere this fan's going to be for sale by the way that's why this one's being built um not by me but once it's finished i'll put a link up if anyone's interested in one it's going to be a nice fan So just finally for tonight, I'm going to call it a day now, I think. Um, I've glued down there. Oh, with the video lights on, I can see I've left a little bit of sticks all under there. I'll get rid of that in a second. I've glued down the edging strip where it was cut a little bit loose. So that's never moving again. Uh, the work surface, I've not scribed around the front edge or anything yet. But the back edge is completely done. And there goes my drill. Um, and that looks really nice. Uh, how it's going to work on this one, we're going to have a sink over here, oven over here, and then there's a fridge down the bottom here uh, with some units. But I'm pretty pleased with the wall units there. I think it's going to look really nice. It's a massive kitchen for a camper van. It's going to be fantastic. Um, right, I'll pick this up in the morning. Okay, next day now. Um, done all the cutouts for the kitchen. This one here, that's going to be a cupboard. I think that's got a timber door on it. At the top there, in the middle, that's going to be a big deep drawer. Below that is where the fridge is going to go. You can see the bottom of the surround is stood in place. Besides that, there's going to be a nice deep pan drawer. It's, it's going to be it's going to be deep in downwards, but not very deep backwards. As you'll see why in a minute. And above that is where the oven goes. Um, I've put all the pocket holes in ready to connect up. Or well, most of them. I've still got a couple to do on the end panel. Um, I've dry fitted the fridge and the oven. They all fit nicely. Top unit is now done apart from putting the doors on. I've also put a gas locker in the back there. I'll show you that quickly. So that's the gas locker, it's just a little four and a half kilo one going into this, uh, but the heating's diesel. Um, and that's the unit from the back. From the back it's scribed in down that side. This fits nice and tightly into here. Um, there's not a lot of room between that and the shelf for the oven, but it all fits. Um, now you can see the back of this unit, how I've done that quite pleased with that um, obviously it'll look a lot better once the ends are on and the bits are in right I think I'm gonna get this top cut and then I'll come back well the kitchen's not finished because it hasn't got the timber doors and that on and it's not screwed down because I want to fit a gas manifold um, before it's fully fitted but everything's in. Um, little Vitra Frigo fridge down there. That's nice actually. And I've set that forward so it runs in line with the oven. See that there. Uh, oven in. Quite pleased with that. Um, sink in. Uh, and the tap, obviously. Um, the gas manifold, I'm wondering if we can get a little one inset on this side, sort of here. Um, that would be a nice place for it, and the reason for that is, if we come around this side, there's a the little gas locker. We're going to have 
a drop out there through the gas locker anyway and then another one for the oven um, down the back there if I could get the gas taps sort of here you know a little cut out inside so they're just inside it's only a little two turn tap then um, that would put all of the gas apart from the water heater which you can it's just sat there That's, I didn't fit that that was already there um, that's all of the gas all in one place and the gas pipe for the water heater I'm going to run under the van with armour's cable anyway um, I'll just show you the outside of this van as we're outside now I'll go around the other side because sun but this is the van I think it's a nice van actually I think it's going to be lovely when it's done I don't know if you can see it's got the solar panel on the top it's got an awning on it. It's just a nice van. And while we're here, um, a lot of you that watch these will know my van is blown up at the moment. So while I'm here working, I'm staying in that one, which is another one the guy's got, um, which is fine. And then beside that is his own one, which he's kind of doing at the moment. Now that is nice, that's a big h3 l4 brand new it's gonna have this electric beds going into that one i'm leaving that with him i don't know what i'm doing with that myself um i think i'm going to call this video a day here um and the next video will still be this van and it will be fitting out the other side so some wall units the wardrobe and then the bed system and there's a seat going in as well um, not a travel seat just a leisure seat um, and yeah it should be pretty much coming together then so that's, that'll do for now bye for now thanks for watching cheers bye bye